Hello, I'm Richard Adavaya, and I'm teaching hand tools and wiring practices, course number 116. Uh, one of the projects that we have uh, set up for our students is called the Conduit Project. Um, all students will be expected to, uh, to produce a project very, very similar to this, if not exactly the same as this. Um, so what it consists of are uh, various conduits and raceways that the electrician will use or is likely to do, use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and what the, elect, what the student will do or is expected to do is to uh, produce this uh, project. Um, as you can see here, the frame of this project is in half-inch EMT. All the other conduits that you see here are also half inch, except that they're various different types and names. Um, oftentimes, as you're mounting this and you're working with flexible raceway, the student these will bend, and the student in this case used dowlings, small dowlings to uh, to put to place inside the the conduits to prevent it from uh, from bending. Very, very good work. Um, this is uh, uh, an A project. Uh, he used tie wire to mount these conduits to the frame. And he used just the right amount as well. You don't have to go crazy with the tie wire. And he used just, amount, just the right amount. Um, very, very symmetrical. Very safe. And... Um, uh, he did a great job. I like the way he labeled it as well and put his name on it. So that's always a, a good thing. Um, the project will consist of these conduits and also um, the student will complete a chart similar to this. This is an example. It should be located in your lab book. It's an example of information that the student will place regarding each of those conduits here. Here are all the different kinds of conduits, and these are different characteristics that the student will, will, will fill in this, this chart. Uh, this is an example of the chart, the blank one that the student will use. Oftentimes, a student will type the information in here, and that will uh, certainly be easier for me to read, and it also increases his, his score on uh, evaluating the project. Um, I would want to point out, I want to also point out two columns here. It says use is permitted and use is not permitted. That information, along with some of this other information, is located in the code book. And um, especially these two columns here, uses permitted and uses not permitted, instead of writing a description of those locations in those places in these boxes, we've coded those locations, and you use this as the code. These, these are the code uh, letters for different locations where the conduit is permitted and these are the different code locations coded locations where it's not permitted if you can see that okay um, basically the use is permitted we use capital letters to denote the locations that are, they are permitted and small letters to um, identify the places where it is not permitted the conduit is not permitted all that is in the code book and uh, some of the tools that you'll be needing for this project are your pliers, tin snips to cut flexible metal conduit, tin snips or aviation cutters sometimes they're called. You'll use a reamer. What this tool does is it removes the burrs that come as a result of cutting your conduit. So you insert this into half inch EMT. This is only made for EMT. Half inch, three quarter. There are little T 
teeth on it here, half inch, three quarter, and inch EMT. And you place it into the conduit like that, and you twist, and that will, that little tooth here, will remove the burrs both on the inside and the outside of the conduit after cutting it. Again, this is not used for rigid conduit as the teeth are too small. It won't fit in the conduit. As you can see there, it doesn't, doesn't fit. Or uh, in intermediate conduit as well. It will not work. So that's another tool we use. And of course, the hacksaw we use also to cut all this conduit. Um, when you're using the hacksaw, remember to use the entire blade at, for the cutting action. And remember also that the teeth point away from you when, you, when, you, when you're installing the blades on these hacksaws. So just remember those two things. Um, the evaluation criteria that I use to evaluate this project, of course, is code. Uh, and that stands for, the C in the word code stands for completeness. How complete is this project? Are all 12 conduits present? Or does the student only have 9 or 10 of them? Uh, and the O in code is organized. I love the way that this student organized his project. In fact, um, the, the rigid conduits he has here the flexible ones he has in one area here, and then the Rob Roy's down here at the bottom. But I love the way he's he's organized this, and, and that took a lot of thought and organization to place the flexible conduits in the center, somewhat in the center of the of the project, and he left the the above portion for his rigid conduits. Uh, D in the word code stands for durability. Uh, if you could feel this, it is very durable. It hardly ever, it doesn't bar barely move. All the conduits are really tight in place and they're not, they're not coming out. It's very, very uh, durable. It's nothing is loose or dragging. The frame itself is very, is very stiff and that's the way you want it. So it's gonna take a little practice to get the feel of using tie wire it's uh, something that is, it takes practice doing. I don't want it mounted on, on any other uh, form but this. This is what you're going to produce just almost exactly the way you see it. You, could, you have some creativity in the placement. You could alphabetize them. You could put them, the, the flexibles up here, the rigid ones down here. You could do that any way you, any way you choose. Uh, but use the tie wire, use half inch EMT for your frame, and uh, make sure that all the conduits are the, are the same size, and make sure when you, when you cut them, you cut them uh, straight. And uh, the E in the word con uh, code stands for effort. How much effort did he put into this? I love also the way he used uh, lettering and a label maker to write down or to to identify each of the conduits. It's very good work. A lot of effort was put into this. Um, I love the way that uh, perhaps he was cutting this conduit and it it didn't come out straight. He went ahead and straightened it. So make sure all your cuts are nice and straight and even. Make sure that the project itself is nice and tight. Um, make sure it's complete. Make sure it's organized. And make sure also that all the lettering and the words are spelled correctly. So um, I love the added touch that he used with the dowlings here to keep the conduit nice and straight. And uh, that was a, a very high mark for this one. So that's the conduit project. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please also feel free to, to, uh, to ask me in class. One other thing that I'd like to mention, a little trick that the electricians use to identify whether something is uh, aluminum or metal is to use simply use a magnet. This is a small square of magnet and you can see in this example here it's sticking to the steel flexible metal conduit. It will not stick to
the aluminum. So that's one way of checking whether your conduit that your flexible conduit that you're using is uh, steel or aluminum. The same thing you could the same thing you could test for up here with the rigid aluminum conduit. The magnet will not stick to, but it does stick to the rigid conduit. So that's the conduit project. Uh, another thing that I'd like to mention when you're cutting uh, the flexible metal conduit like this, this is steel flexible conduit. You could cut into it on the side with a hacksaw and make a, make a slit here and then break it. And with the aluminum conduit, you could simply just bend it and it will break eventually. If you keep bending it, it breaks there. And then you slightly twist it open and then you get the, the tin snip to cut that portion off. All you need to do is make one cut. This is very stiff conduit and uh, it's going to be hard for me to do it with one hand but with the aluminum it's very easy you just cut there and that piece will fall right off so uh, that's the conduit project